Okay, Shabbat Shalom. How is everyone doing on this beautiful, beautiful, yes, Shabbat. So what you see here burning is frankincense and myrrh. Yes, I burn this every day. It could be, this is on a um, charcoal. You could order these charcoals on Amazon. You could buy, order them in single packs or you could order a box. Okay. And I think there's some of your hookah lounges, they probably sell them too. And so, yes, this is my frankincense and myrrh. The most high loves this. He loves frankincense, myrrh, olive oil, calamus, and cinnamon. He prefers this on his altar, and we are to light his altar daily. That's one of our rituals. And keeping all of the holy days, high holy days, is a ritual as well. Our Shabbat is a ritual because a ritual is any act that you do on a continual basis. And we are to keep the Shabbat every single week. We have a weekly Shabbat. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. So I am celebrating me and the Most High. So Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. This is the day that the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is the Holy One of Israel, my Redeemer, the creator himself, the almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the almighty Elohim of all 12 tribes of Israel, which I am of the royal house of Yahudah. I am a Yahudi daughter of Zion, wife of the most high God, the true and living Elohim. That's right. I took the oath when my ancestors took the oath. That's right. The oath is a marriage. He's my God and I am his wife forever. Don't worship no other. I took the oath. He is my husband, my issue, my Elohim. And praise the most high. My God never died. If y'all got, if y'all got uh, died, what kind of God is that? Can't save itself. What kind of God is that? But my God has all power. He never died. And never will. He has all power. No one has power over the most high. Yeah. The most high is my God. Always have been, always will be. The creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is the Holy One of Israel, the Ancient of Days, creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. And he reigns forever, and I reign forever with him on the throne. The 400 years of punishment has been over for almost three years. It'll be three years and less than three months with this April, May, June, July, August, well, well, in four months. That's right. That's right. So shoot, when, when, when uh, August 2019 came in, that was the end of our punishment. We are back on the throne, been back on the throne, been back on the throne. So this is our Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. And this is not nothing new that I do. I do what I do on the Shabbat. I do it every day. Okay, I get up and I um, light the most highest altar. As a matter of fact, I keep it lit because I do candles. I do candles. Um, I keep candles lit. He likes frankincense, myrrh, olive oil, cinnamon, and uh, calamus. And so I put the, those ingredients in those candles and they stay burning. I burn them continuously. As a matter of fact, I have one burning on the altar now. I always get the seven day candles and you can get the seven day candles from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Well, a dollar and 25 cent now. Okay, but that's much a much, much cheaper than, in, than getting them anywhere else. 
Okay. Yes. So I'm going to be reading some songs on this beautiful Shabbat. And there's one particular song that David said for us to never neglect on the Shabbat. And that is Psalms 92. Now, I did my altar work earlier, but I always like to do a Psalms reading um, during the, you know, throughout the Shabbat. Because see, I'll be an early bird. I get up early. But I like to read Psalms and bring to the world that today is the Shabbat of the true and living Elohim, the almighty Elohim of granddaddy Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the almighty Elohim of all 12 tribes of Israel, which I am of the royal house of Yahudi, Yahuda, I am a Yahudi, I am daughter of Zion. Okay. So I am going to read, a lot of people is familiar with, you know, um, some Psalms, you know, like the 23rd Psalms and, and Psalms 91, <laughs> the secret place. They know that one now, that one popping. <laughs> but um, I'm going to read Psalms 92. And if you all don't have this book called The Power, of the Psalms by Anna Reba, you need to get it. And I'm saying that because in this book, it has a guide in the back and it tells you um, what each Psalms is for. Whatever situation you have, whatever situation you have, there's a song for it, okay? Table of contents, okay? Table of contents, okay? This is table of contents, okay? So this is a very good book to have. It's called, y'all can tell I've been really using this, okay? It's falling apart on me. It's falling apart, okay? How are the songs? By Anna Riva. Okay. So it has rituals in here. Rituals is just like I say, is 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 an act that we do on a continual basis. That's what a ritual is. We all do rituals, okay? We all do sacrifices. So don't be all woo -woo 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 over those words. Okay. Hmm. Um, I was um on YouTube and I saw another brother, his name is Abdullah Seer, Seer, and he said before there was tarot, there's Torah. Torah, tarot, it goes together. And I'm so glad our brothers is getting down with it. Get down. Because when you are Zion young, when you are truly Zion, you got to get up in those cosmos. We're not just here in the physical realm. We're in those cosmos, all going it. I'm glad he brought that out. Um... Um, where is it? I hope everyone is enjoying their Shabbat so far. I know it's still early. Um, okay, Psalms 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord Most High, the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. And to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. 
to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the heart with a solemn sound. For thou, O Holy One of Israel, creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is, Lord Most High has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Holy One of Israel, my Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Ahaya Shahaya, my Lord. My horn shall thou exhort like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the most high shall flourish in the course of our almighty Elohim of granddad Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Most High, the Lord Most High is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Hallelujah. Now let's read. Psalms 136. Let's go to Psalms 136. Okay. Psalms 136. Oh, give thanks to the Lord most high, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endure forever. To him who alone does great wonders for his mercy endure forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endure forever. To him that stretch out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endure forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endure forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endure forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endure forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endure forever. And brought out Israel, praise the most high, from among them. We're going to exit us. For his mercy endure forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endure forever. We're coming out of here. Okay. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, that at magic, for his mercy endure forever and made Israel all 12 tribes to pass through the midst of it for his mercy endure forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, that's you heathens, that's you Gentiles, uh -huh. for his mercy endure forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endure forever. To him we smote great kings. You see how the royal family of the Gentiles have been brought down. No more Queen Elizabeth. 
year for his mercy endure forever. You don't even see her. She probably dead. If she ain't dead, she will be. But they don't rule nothing. <laughs> they rulership ended in August 2019. He's bringing them all down. Sure enough, he is. And slew famous kings for his mercy endure forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endure forever. And on the king of Bashan, for his mercy endure forever. And gave their land for a heritage. I have a whole lot of inheritance. For his mercy endure forever. Even a heritage unto Israel. That's me. And it's 12 tribes of us. For his mercy endure forever. Who will remember me? I'm making this personal. In my low estate, for his mercy endure forever. And has redeemed me. I'm making this personal. Because the most high, the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. He's my redeemer. Because see, some of y'all, y'all still waiting on, on some idol to be your redeemer. You're making up these old fake Hebrew names for that J-E-S-U-S garbage in the New Testament talking about he's your redeemer. Keep it up. But the most high himself is my redeemer. Who give food to all flesh for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the almighty Elohim of heaven. The almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. For his mercy endure forever. That is Psalms 136. Let's read Psalms 144. This is bless the most high the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is for all good. Bless the Lord most high, my strength, which teaches my hands to war, my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. He's my deliverer. My shield and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. O Holy One of Israel, Lord Most High, what is man, that thou takest knowledge of him, or the Son of Man, that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passes away. But thy heavens, a higher, a shah, higher, O Lord Most High, bow, I'm sorry, bow thy heavens and come down touch the mountains and they shall smoke cast forth lightning and scatter them shoot out thy arrows and destroy them send thine hand from above he rid me and deliver me out of gray waters from the hand of strange children whose mouth speak of vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood those liars the most i'm gonna tear them up I will sing a new song unto thee, O Holy One of Israel. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings while I sing praises unto thee. It is you, O Most High, that giveth salvation unto kings who delivered David your servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. 
that our garners may be full for an all man of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is in such a case. See, it's, it's going to be a whole new heaven and a whole new earth. Happy is that people whose almighty Elohim is the Lord most high. That's me. That's me. Let's read Psalms. Four. Because now this particular Psalms is when you seek injustice and the most high is the judge. He's doing judgment 24 seven. His courtroom never closes. The most high, he don't slumber nor sleep. These courthouses on planet earth may close, but the righteous judge, the holy one of Israel, the most high, the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is, El El Yon in his judgment capacity. He don't never slumber nor sleep, and his court is always in session. Psalms 4, hear me when I call, O Holy One of Israel, Almighty Elohim of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after losing say love? But know that the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, has set apart him that is godly for himself. He will hear when I call unto him, standing on sin not, commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still, Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. The Holy One of Israel, the Ancient of Days, the Lord Most High. Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Most high, lift thou up the light of thy conscience upon me. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, O holy one of Israel, my Lord and my redeemer and Ishian king, only makes me dwell in safety. Hallelujah. We're going to read Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord Most High, the Holy One of Israel. And his and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water and bringing forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly, the ungodly are those of you that's in religions. The ungodly are those of you that have said that the most high's commandments has been done away with. We could celebrate holidays instead of holy days. Like y'all are going to church tomorrow, y'all celebrating Easter. Y'all are the ungodly. But are like the shaft with the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the most high, nor the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. 
So you're not blessed when you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High. And you've got to be perfect to do that. Number one is to worship him and only him. That's number one. And that's not hard to do. Now, our ancestors, I'm talking about us Negroes. I'm talking to us Negroes. We sin, our ancestors have sinned against the Most High by turning away from him by worshiping other gods. Because we took the oath that he was our God and we was his people. We would not worship any other. Plus, he told us, don't go nowhere near those Gentiles, nor serve their gods. Some of you still are. And you all will not make it back home to Zion. Some of you don't want to go home to Zion anyway. But I'm going home to Zion. Yes, the whole world belongs to me, but I'm going home to Zion. That's fine that the most high have blessings for me. I want everywhere one of them, and I receive every one of them. But first, I'm going home to Zion. Yeah. Going back to where I was put out of. That's where the land that flow with milk and honey. He's going to bless Zion. He's going to bless the whole four corners of the earth because it all belongs to us. And he's cleansing it for us. But he's going to really bless Zion. He himself dwells in Zion. Let's get 76. Let's get Psalm 76. Yeah. Let's get that. Because these churches in Babylon is not the house of the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. The almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The almighty Elohim of all 12 tribe of Israel. These are not his churches. These are Satan churches on these corners. The most high tabernacle is in Zion. Let's get it. Psalm 76. In Yahuda, that's my tribe, is Almighty Elohim known. His name is great where? In Israel. In Salem, which is Yahuzalam, Salam, Salem. Also is his what? Tabernacle, his church. And his dwelling places in where? Zion, Jerusalem, Israel. So those of you that's running to these churches around here, y'all are not worshiping the most high, you're worshiping Lucifer. You are. Here's a scripture. He don't have anything to do with religion. And he don't have anything to do with those whorehouses. That's why he got on us. He's right here. It's a scripture where the most high said, Israel has done what? Gone a whoring after other gods. That's what you're doing. Y'all in those churches on those corners? The most high tabernacle is in Zion. That's why when we set up our altar and pray and talk to the most high, we turn to the east. We turn to the east. To Zion. So no. You're not worshiping the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. The almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The almighty Elohim of all 12 tribes of Israel. You're not worshiping him in these churches in Babylon. No, 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 no. His tabernacle is in Zion. That's why you turn to the east, baby. Yeah. Thou art more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep and none of the men of might have found their hands. At thy rebuke, O almighty of Jacob, 
Both the chariot and horse are cast into a deep sleep. Thou, even thou, art to be feared. And who may stand in thy sight when once thou art angry? No one. Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still. When the Holy One of Israel, the Most High, Ahaya Shahaya, arose to judgment, because he's the judge, to save all the meek of the earth, say Allah. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee, the remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. Vow and pay unto the Holy One of Israel, the Lord Most High, your hour, my almighty Allah. Let all that be round about him, bring presents unto him who ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spear of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Let's get Psalm 76, 75. Unto thee, O almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, do I give thanks. Unto thee do I give thanks where that thy name, Ahaya Asha Ahaya, is near thy wondrous works declare. When I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it, Selah. I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but the almighty Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is, the Holy One of Israel, who dwells in Zion and reigns for heaven. He is the judge. Most high is the judge. He put us down one and set us up another. For in the hand of the Lord Most High, there is a cup. And the wine is red and it's full of mixture. He pours out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises unto the almighty Elohim of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. May the Holy One of Israel, the creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is my almighty Elohim and Redeemer and King and Redeemer and Ishi. Bless and anoint the reader and receiver of these songs. Shabbat Shalom.